Hi everyone, I'm Talia. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you like this video and you want to see more like it. And if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. That's where you'll get the newest and greatest news over at Brightly Imagined. Hey guys, so it's been a long time, but I've been focusing on my word of the year, which is renewal. And so I'm doing a lot of things. Um, I kind of am just veering off schedule and seeing what is arising in my life still as things I want to do. Um, as much as I can. I mean, there's certain things you're not going to get away with for long, like not doing the dishes. So I've been playing around in my journal and I wanted to show you what's been going on. Okay, so I'm switching covers on you here. This one says 2019 and this is the cover of the Happy Planner Faith Planner. It's a, it's a Happy Planner Girl and I really liked it when I saw it because I just wanted to start off the new year with 2019 emboldened on the cover. So, um, and it had the rose gold rings and this is a rose gold little highlight and it just says 2019 lettered in there. I love how that looks. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a quick flip through because I wanted to show you um, what's new, what's different because I am really happy with the setup as it is right now. There's a few things that need tweaking as always. That's why we have these planner channels because we're always looking for new ideas and ways to mix it up. But I am actually really happy with the setup right now. So I'm going to show you the setup and then I'm going to start planning for February. Okay, so like I said, the cover is still the same, uh, or uh, the planner is still the same. I just switched out the cover because I liked it. And um, as you can see, it does this uh, peach ombre, which totally works with like, look at this. I mean, these are from my happy notes um, that I moved in here. So it totally still goes with the theme. I mean, look, and this matches the stars, the pink. It's not pink. It's more of a coral but anyway so everything still matches and i love that and i love that i can just add in accessories and they like all match it's like everything's very cohesive in this planner we got our little our little gold rose gold wording on there and just so many things all right i have this little washi tape here to cover up my information i just put my email and my phone number down there and um, what I added was this um, little magnet clip. And I cannot say how happy I am that I started using this. It seems so silly, but I don't know if you guys have this issue, but when you open a happy planner, usually, usually what happens is um, it'll pick up the first page with it. So I never get to see the first page. It always just goes straight into my calendar. And I don't like that. I like to see the first page when I open it because I don't know. I think it's cute. I like seeing my name. I don't know. I like it. So I put that on there and I just put it over the, um, the calendar into the back of the first month. And that's where I have, uh, clipped it and it's just a magnet. So it stays together. And then that way, when I open it, it doesn't stick to the front cover because I have a problem with that a lot. So yeah. And then it's super easy to pull off too. Like it doesn't damage the paper, like a paper clip would if you just yanked it off. No scratching. So I, these are my new favorite thing. I love these and I used them a couple other places in my journal. So I never understood the purpose of them, but now I'm like, oh my gosh, where have you been all my life? Okay. So this is my calendar. And as you can see, it's still going with the coral up there. So nice. Um, I went through the calendar just for this year and, um, I only had the school calendar for the first half of the year. So that's why you don't see a lot of yellow and orange because I color coded everything for school holidays, work holidays, those kinds of things. And then blue is the uh, weekend. So I went all the way through and did that and nothing for 2020 yet. Cause we don't have any of the calendars for that yet, but, um, yeah, so it's just a nice thing to keep in there. And then over here we have um, my January page. Just has the holidays. I didn't put anything here. I mean, I love dot grid, but I was thinking about putting, um, because I made a big um, planner owner's manual that I'm going to probably copy over into the next one. I do love this. So I think in February I'm going to kind of redo this. I just needed more space this month to kind of, I was kind of using this to keep track of what I liked in um, 
in my daily, weekly, and monthly routine and what I wanted to do more and what maybe I was going to throw out. So that's kind of what I was using this for because it's a new year, it was a new planner. I was trying to figure out um, what I needed. So um, I was going to write this here and I never got to it because I needed more space. So I had another page, but yeah. So I think I'll probably write that there on um, February. And then I have just this little uh, post-it dashboard. Super nice. Um, I haven't used it a bunch because I don't use post-its that much, but eh, I like having it there. It's a good spot to have it and it goes with the theme. It's crazy how everything just goes together. So this is my day-to-day -day planner. I have the month in here, but I don't decorate it. So I'll just take you to the pages that I do decorate. So these are my weekly pages. So this is one of them. And some weeks are better than others, but you know, I've just been messing around with my style just with the stickers to see what I like and what I don't like. So yeah, it, I'm, I'm mixing up. I haven't really come up with a style yet, so that's why I don't do weekly planning videos, but I'm having fun with the stickers and that's kind of the joy of it. And then after this um, is my bullet journal section, as you've already seen, your word for the year is renewal. And this one I've been keeping pretty simple. My January in here was like beyond simple. It was just the wording. And then I kind of just went into, I did like an expense tracker and then I just went into my, uh, my dailies. Yeah, it's just, and I'm, I'm messing around with font. So it's just kind of a mess right now, but, but I like that. So, because I'm, I'm getting stuff done. Um, <clears throat> And then I have my home section and I started adding a few things in here. I made a vehicle maintenance log because we did a lot of stuff with the cars in uh, December and January. So I wanted to uh, make sure that I kept track of that. So I'm just doing it by month. It's really simple to see when we did this. We replaced, we had to replace the heater and then they had two recalls on the van. So we had to take it in changing oil, rotating tires. So I am kind of just going to keep that. And then I had a pet health tracker because our dogs, oh, Rexy had a surgery in November and Albert had dental surgery in January. So yeah, things have been a little crazy, you guys. I'm not going to lie, but um, I'm in a really good mood despite that. Like everything's going really, really good in life and I'm really taking my time and just dealing with things as they come up. Um, so this is my routine section for the home and I have a, these are from Alejandra.tv. I've shown these before. They're printables I got from her power productivity program. Although you can make these yourself on dot grid paper. It's not, this would just be a daily habit tracker like I do usually for the month. And then I have, um, I have extra ones in the back. There's the daily routine charts and uh, I got a bunch of those. And then weekly routine charts. And then they have monthly and also those, but yeah, but that's all I have in there. Um, <clears throat> and then the goals section, that's pretty much the same from what I showed you guys in, um, in December. So I have my level 10 life, my level 10 goals, my compass, and then uh, my quarterly goals. And I put a month in here, but I don't really like that. So I don't think I'm gonna do that for February. Okay, so this is my fitness section. This is my success chart. It just has uh, starting statistics up here. And then um, I track my weight, how much I lost, my BMI, how much BMI I went down, just little data like that. And then over here I have my um, graph where I show the, the weight loss going down. And here is my grocery list. And um, what I did was I took a piece of paper and I actually folded it into fourth so I can use like all of these. So um, I'm getting a lot of use out of just one page for grocery lists. So I really like how I did that. And then um, I have another of these magnetic clips here that I love and it helps me turn it right to the meal part. Um, and so I have my other ones here cause I want them for reference to see like, oh, I had a great week. What was I eating? Oh, I was eating a lot of um, soups and those were seemed like they were filling me up. Maybe I need to do more of that. Um, but yeah, that way I don't have to flip through them every time when I'm going from here to go right in my, you know, this is the first page and then to write in my food. And then the last one is, um, my, uh, faith planner section. Um, and I'll just show you the blank ones. And, um, 
I just wanted to show you guys that like these are actually pretty adjustable. I mean, I know that they have, but they're actually really subtle about it. Like if you wanted to use it for something that wasn't Christian faith planning, it's really easy to like, you know, cover that up with a sticker, cover that up with a sticker, and then, I mean, it says scripture and stuff, but that's easily covered up with washi tape, and then you can have a different structure. And actually, this would be really good for even just a weekly, because it has, like, you know, little task bubbles here. You can make that as a task list, or even here. And so, um, and I even thought about it, like, I mean, it's the soap method where you're taking a line and you're thinking about how you're going to apply it. I was like, this would almost work great if you just wanted to read self-help books and apply them more regularly. Like I'm a self-help book junkie, so I would totally do that. I would totally sit down and read, you know, getting things done, this art of stress-free productivity or uh, designing your life and be like, oh, this is a great quote. And I'd write it down. It has this for notes. I mean, it's designed for sermon notes and faith and stuff, which um, is a little different than what I use it for, but a lot of this stuff, it would just be easy to use for your own, um, your own purposes. So I just wanted to throw that out there. So that's, you know, this is the, um, this is the planner that came with this cover. So that's the, um, so that's what I'm using it for. Um, yeah, that was it. That was the grand tour. If you like videos like this and you want to see more, give me that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. All right. Thank you everyone. I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.